Okay, so this is just a little uh, video that introduces the uh, management of um, Android apps on Chrome OS. Um, this is in closed beta at the moment and we've got access to it. So I'll just show you what it looks like. And um, this is something that's coming to generally release in the next couple of months. So the way you enable it is you go to device management and then you go to Chrome management. And when you've got access to this on your domain, what you'll find is that you've got Google Play Store settings. So you click onto that and you can see that I've got that enabled and you have to enable that and agree to the terms and conditions. That's step one. Um, step two is to um, give permission for some of your users to do this. So we're going to use the settings now on the management console what we need to do is enable this feature for um, your users. So, um, for example, I've got this enabled for IT support users at the moment. So we go into them and uh, I have some generic accounts and I have some sort of real users, which is why it's called that. Now we scroll down through the list of options. What you'll find is once you've got this enabled, you've got Google Play apps here and you need to select allow here. One of the nice features that you've got is account management, disable users adding the following types of accounts, Google accounts, and you really want that checked by default and that stops them adding private Gmail accounts. And you can prevent them from installing apps from unknown sources. So that's all useful stuff, so that's it enabled. What you need to do then is select which apps you're going to allow. So what you need to do for that is go to the Google Play for Work, and I've already deployed that as one of our IT support managed bookmarks. And then you can pick an application. Um, and let me just pick something we haven't already. Say I wanted to allow uh, Go to Meeting, for example. You click on it, and you click on Approve. Now that in itself does not make that app available to anyone. Um, there's an additional step to make it available to them. If you click on My Company Apps here, this is the list of apps that we've already approved. So this is fairly generic um, Google stuff and a few extra bits and pieces which we're uh, trialing with some staff and some students. Not all of these apps are deployed to everybody. So Microsoft Remote Desktop is deployed to IT support, for example, but not to anybody else. So then we jump back to the admin console and we'll go back to um, Chrome management settings. And what we've got to do is um, deploy those apps. And you can deploy those apps in a number of ways. So we're going to app management and you want to select here Android apps. And all of the apps that you've approved in My Company Apps will appear here. And you can see there's some variation here. So BBC News, um, it just says it's allowed. So if I click on that, you'll have user settings, and then you've got your OU structure. And this one I've applied for everybody, although not everybody has Android apps available to them but this just means anybody who does can install it. And there's three options. You can allow installations, you can force installation. So as soon as they've enabled Google um, Play Store on their device, they will get that app force installed. And you can even go as far as pinning that app to the taskbar if you want to. So what you can see down the um, right hand side here is these are all allowed apps. This one I've pinned for a certain OU only and force installed for a certain OU only because this Pixlit app is going to be used by a trial class who do English. It's a literature application that um, our English department are using. So you can see all of the apps there and you can allow that app in any of those three ways to be used by any OU. So it's very granular. 
So what I'm going to do is just show you what it looks like from the point of view of um, the end user. So I've got cast receiver on here. So I'm casting from my R11. And you can see this is the screen of my R11. So I'll just move over to controlling this. Um, this is the Google Play Store as it appears to a user. It's nothing like the consumer one. And you can see that it's got all of the apps which I've allowed users to install. Google Text to Speech is one that's installed by default, but you have to allow give it permissions to update. Um, so it's generally fairly standard stuff um, that I've got there at the moment, with the exception of a couple of special apps. Um, and they can search the store for apps, but they'll only find the ones that you've deployed. Actually using the apps is no different from if you've got a consumer device. So you can decide who gets which apps, whether they're pinned to the shelf, whether they're force installed, or whether, like most of these, the user can choose to install them if they want to. That's kind of all there is to it at the moment. The one thing that I've fed back so far is that um, setting the permissions for apps is a little bit of a chore because it's done individually at the moment. So while there is an option which is quite seductive to multiple select apps like this, that doesn't appear to actually do anything because you click on Google Keep and you're changing the permissions only for Google Keep. So you have to go through each app individually and decide who can do what with that particular app. But other than that, it seems to work very, very slickly. And I've been quite impressed with it. And I'm sure it's going to make um, quite a big impact to our R11 one-to-one -one deployment.